everyone welcome back to day two um yesterday was a pretty good day we earned 40 gold we picked up a few skills no a skill in foraging um which isn't bad because i actually want at least four or five by the uh, 15th so um not upset about that we met some people, actually gave out a gift. We have a lot more people to meet. Uh, 18 to be exact. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Uh, the weather... Oh, it's gonna rain all day tomorrow, which is, uh, actually, that's good. I like rain. And the spirits are very happy today. Yay, spirits! Always nice to hear that. Uh, and here's Clint to give us... Good morning, Clint. That is good. Thanks for the furnace blueprint. Appreciate it. Yes, <laughs> my backpack is full. Oh. Pierre is pretty funny. And uh, Willie has a fishing pole. Okay, uh, first and foremost, let's uh, get the watering done. Uh, by the way, I'm really sorry for this, but I don't have any video editing software, so uh, you're going to have to speed up through the chores on your own if you're interested in watching. Or suffer through the watering with me. Um, right now, I, I mean, it only takes a few minutes. When, uh... If I get a lot of crops and it starts to get really annoying, maybe I'll just uh, pause the recording and then resume it. Okay, uh, today we want... Our goal is to get... More seeds. Worms. Wood. Um, I want... Three, three hundred wood for the for the bridge on the beach to repair that. So I'm going to uh, be working on that uh, all of today. This way and clear out some of uh, this. Hopefully, get some seeds. The spirits are very happy, so uh, we'll see if we get more than two. And I'm only. I didn't mention this yesterday. Like yesterday, like two minutes ago, yesterday. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring my axe. Okay, or my pickaxe. Um, the trees aren't going to go grow back what I've been doing, uh, leaving the stumps in the, when the game first came out, uh, the trees would grow back from stumps, but that does not work anymore. But you get all of, all of the foraging experience from chopping down the, uh, the tree, which is uh, 12 experience for chopping down the tree. You don't get any experience for the stump. Um, and as I mentioned, I want a certain level of foraging before uh, the 15th. And energy is a big, a big issue right now. So, so I'm leaving the stumps, but I'll come back around and uh, chop them down once once I have uh, some more foraging experience so it doesn't use as much energy and once I've uh, upgraded my axe a time or two then I'll come back and uh, get rid of all these stumps so all these trees can go back but in the early part of the game I'm just interested in the experience and I'll get a lot more experience faster 
with the with the small amount of energy that I have uh, doing it this way. So, uh, and one of the funny things though is that uh, Leah, who goes through the forest, she gets a uh, she gets angry when she sees the tree stumps. Or I saw it once, and that's what I'm assuming she got angry about. It was uh it was actually pretty funny. We'll see if it uh if it happens again. In fact, I'll make sure to cut the pine trees uh around her house and see uh and see if that was just a fluke. But I'm pretty sure. As she was walking around here, she got upset about the <laughs> the mess I'm leaving in the forest. I really enjoy the the characters and the story, um, but the game has been out for a year, and I watched a gazillion hours of Let's Plays um, on this series for all this time. Um, so the cutscenes and all that stuff, you'll see me uh, speed past it just because I've seen it all and uh, yeah, I'm not that interested in seeing it again. <laughs> like you can't change any of it. So I appreciate it. I love it. I think it, this is a a great game. I'm so happy that uh, that it's getting the uh, success that it deserves. But it's old. But the funny thing is, I actually haven't uh, played. I've never finished the first year. I've never uh, had an evaluation. Pierre. <laughs> I've never had an evaluation, um, but even 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 though I haven't played the game that far along, I've seen so many uh, let's plays. Um, in particular, uh, Avex let's play, which is just absolutely amazing. Uh, to see him interacting with the villagers and characters. So if uh, if you haven't checked out his latest place, I'm assuming you have. If, if you found this one, I'm sure you've uh, come across his. But on the off chance that you haven't, uh, I definitely recommend his let's play. It's an absolute pleasure to watch. Uh, he reads all of the dialogue. Uh, empathizes with all the characters. Uh, it's, it's... Honestly, it's the kind of let's play I think that this sort of game deserves. Not me uh, deforesting uh, the forests and leaving the stumps in order to not waste energy for something that doesn't give me experience. Uh, I mean, I don't really. There is a there is a a bit of a min max mentality, I guess. Oh, we need to drop some stuff off. A little bit of it, in that I understand the mechanics. But then you'll also see me do things like this right here, uh, going home to drop off stuff so I don't have to throw anything away, which obviously... <laughs> obviously this is stupid and not the... and not how you would play the game if, uh, if you were trying to get the most out of it. Okay, where are we at? I need a hundred more. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen today. We'll see. Um, I 
But I think my playthrough is probably uh, more of a min-max than a casual enjoy the story style. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I do both. And, uh, let's eat all the spring onions. Wow, it's five o'clock already. That's one thing I do not... I wish the uh, game had a save. And I also wish there was just a little bit more time. I understand... The whole point of the game is a uh, is time management, but that doesn't. I don't care about that. I wish there was the game clock went a little slower. Just because uh, as soon as I feel like I get started, it seems like the day is over again. You know if. If I was being smart about this, I would come over to this side of the map and weed out all the trees that aren't maple. Well, let's pretend like I'm smart. Uh, well, yeah, that, uh, that's actually a pretty good idea. Um, and if I'm doing that, I should clean it up a little bit but I don't want to waste the energy. Ah, oh, decisions, decisions. Oh. Well, we'll pick up the weeds. Chop down a, a few more trees that don't conform to our needs. Like this one right here. Uh, for the longest time, I could not tell these trees apart, but I finally, I finally uh, found something that made it uh, stick in my brain which trees were which. Well, the the pine trees are, are obvious, um, but the maple trees have uh, fatter leaves, and they match the round bottles of the maple syrup, and the oak resin have skinny leaves which also matches the the shape of that bottle and for some reason that sticks with me now when nothing else ever did let's see so let's uh get another maple tree down yeah eat that that's enough to take that down. And, oh, that's still not enough for, um, for the bridge, though. Okay, so we'll swing by the beach tomorrow. We'll chop down some, uh, the rest of the trees that we need. I'm gonna save these mixed seeds just because I could be wrong about this. I don't know. I haven't, I, I mean, I read the wiki, I watched people play this, so I'm not unfamiliar with the game, um, but I haven't bothered to mod anything or, or try and, uh, decompile the code or anything like that. But I think the, so this is just me speculating. I think the uh, crow scenario might come about, yes, yeah. I've come to ridicule you, Linus. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a great gift. Wouldn't it be cool if you could steal his fireplace? <laughs> Can you do that? 
No. <laughs> I mean, once I had that like pretty terrible thought, I just had it. I had to check it out just to see. Um. Oh, and now I completely lost my thought. Oh well. That's not going to be the first time that happens. Oh, I remember now. Um, so I'm familiar with the game, but I haven't. But it's just not a game where I think it's worthwhile to uh, to do everything exactly right. And if you don't do this or do that, a Joja Cola. Um, if I fish, I don't know, Maru. Maybe if I fish tomorrow. Uh, so it's just not that that sort of game where I'm gonna uh, go out of my way to to find out how everything works. But for some reason, I think the the crows might be triggered um, after a certain number of crops. Because most playthroughs, um, I've started this game like a million times, just because the fun part is like spring. After that, I lose interest. <laughs> um, oh, maybe I should clear out some of the beach now. Oh, wait, oh, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> I am so greedy. Um, <laughs> Let's see how fast uh, she can go home. And I guess I'll show you the the journal trick if I don't make it. This is the bad part. I I am in such a habit of uh, of cheating to give myself more time that. I'm going to have a hard time not doing it, even though I don't want to while I'm recording. There's just, there's something about doing a let's play that makes me think that uh, I should be above board and not use exploits. Oh, let's uh, get rid of that, one of those. Drop off all this stuff. Grab the watering can. Or is it going to rain? I don't know. Okay, we made it back just in time. Level 2 foraging. Very nice. And we made a grand total of 125. That's not bad. And our progress is saved. It's a rainy day. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue with the uh, one day uh, per episode. So, yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you come back for day three. And uh, if you like the series, want to see more, hit the thumbs up. Like I said, if I get bored with this, I, I mean, I might stop playing. Um, but if I know people are watching uh, and enjoying it, uh, that would definitely impact my decision on whether or not I keep up with the episodes. Okay, thanks again, and I will see you next time.